you have virtual assistants working in your team or are you looking to recruit one shortly? If you answered yes, I have another question for you. Have you ever wondered about the conditions your VA has to work under with their current outsourcing provider? What about their treatment? Like, do you know how they're looked after? Now, if these questions have caught you off guard, you're not alone. Many business owners are in the dark about their real world conditions of their virtual assistants. But here's the kicker. What you don't know could be perpetuating unethical practices and exploitation. As most of you know, I'm Michael Sands and I'm from Teams by Design and today we're diving deep into the often overlooked world of virtual assistant outsourcing. Now, whether you already have a VA or you're considering hiring one, what you're about to hear could radically change how you approach outsourcing. We'll uncover the hidden costs behind those attractive price tags and we'll show you how to ensure your business success doesn't come at the expense of someone else's well-being. So, let's get into it. It's time to ask the tough questions about your virtual assistant's working conditions. Trust me, what you're about to hear might surprise you and it could make all the difference in how you do business. First, let's talk about the dark side of outsourcing. While many companies provide valuable services and opportunities, some operate with questionable ethics. Here are three major issues that we see. Exploitation of low wages. Now, some providers take advantage of economic disparities, paying wages as low as $2 something an hour. Now this practice not only exploits workers, but also perpetuates cycles of poverty, poor working conditions. Now offices in underdeveloped areas often subject employees to long commute times, like four to six hours a day and substandard facilities. Now this negatively impacts their quality of life and productivity. Unethical surveillance. Now in extreme cases, some companies implement whistleblower programs, encouraging employees to report on their colleagues. This creates a toxic work environment built on mistrust and fear. Now you might be thinking, why should I care about this? Well, ethical outsourcing isn't just about feeling good. It's about creating sustainable, mutually beneficial relationships that drive long-term success. Here is why it matters. Quality of work. Happy, well-treated employees are more likely to produce high-quality work and go the extra mile for you. Employee retention. Ethical practices lead to higher employee retention rates, ensuring consistency and expertise in your outsourced team. Brand reputation. As consumers become more socially conscious, your outsourcing practices can significantly impact your brand's reputation. Legal and compliance issues. Unethical practices can lead to legal troubles and compliance issues, potentially damaging your business. So how can you choose an ethical outsourcing provider? Here are five key points to consider. Look for transparency. Providers should be open about their practices, wages, and working conditions. Consider work from home options. Companies that offer remote work opportunities often provide better life balance for their employees. Ensure fair wages. Now the provider should pay their employees fair wages relative to the local cost of living. This doesn't mean minimum wage. Check for cultural fits. Choose a provider whose value aligns with your own, particularly in terms of employment treatment, employee and treatment and ethical practices. Seek employee feedback. Now look for ways to gather honest feedback from VAs about their working conditions and job satisfactions. Now let's look at a case study in ethical outsourcing. Now at Teams by Design, we've made ethical outsourcing a cornerstone of our business model, and here's how we do it. Respect and value. Now we treat our virtual assistants like team members and value them and their well-being. Now we ensure they work from home, maintaining quality of life without long commutes and poor work conditions. Competitive wages. We ensure our VAs receive competitive wages that match their skills and economic conditions. Inclusive culture. Now we promote collaboration and support among our VAs and they're included in our quarterly rewards and recognized for their achievements, fostering a positive work environment. Ongoing training and development. Our VAs receive continuous training and support to enhance their skills and career growth. Now, as we wrap this up, I just want you to remember, as businesses increasingly rely on outsourcing, it's crucial to look beyond the bottom line and consider the human cost of these services. By choosing ethical outsourcing providers, you're not just saving money, but also contributing to a more equitable global workforce. Remember, and we know this in property management, the cheapest option isn't always the best. In outsourcing, as in life, you often get what you pay for. So look, until next time, just keep your business practice, practice as ethical and your conscience clear. For any further questions around ethical outsourcing, and if you wanna know more about recruiting a virtual assistant and how it can work within your business, please reach out, book in a time to meet with me and I'd be happy to work through your business structure and workflows.